this video we're just going to look at how you can add alt tags to your images in Shopify and alt tags really are mostly sort of associated with SEO but actually alt tags really are a sort of accessibility feature of websites so let's take for example this is just you know my kind of dummy store that I've set up it doesn't do anything it's just a load of placeholders but we come across this this page and we're searching and for people that are kind of partially sighted and they need uh, parts of the screen kind of read out to them when they come across these images if there's no alt tags there they don't know what the image is so essentially if you add an alt tag to an Im image you could have here they get to this bit you know a row of brushes on a green background type you know a, a type annotation and without that they don't know what that image is so for a product page that's really important or for something where you're trying to get across things visually through images so it's quite important that you, you do just go through and you do the alt tags so and i say they're sort of quite um quite well known as an seo tool and that's because they're indexed as well so um, you can sort of use them a little bit cleverly. You, you should be using them properly, but you, you can use them a little bit cleverly to um, have the images indexed in Google search and also to sort of bolster up the keywords a little bit on your page. So we're going to run through and we're going to have a look at how we can do that. So if we jump into the admin of Shopify, at the time of recording this, one of the fairly recent updates to the back end of Shopify is the content section. So you can actually jump into this now and it will open up the meta object definition uh, window, which isn't the one we want. We want the one below it. So if we click on files and you can see essentially every image we add to the website pretty much just gets bundled into this big list. So you can see the um, image that I was talking about. Now these are just all free ones from Shopify. They're not my own images or anything. So they, um, they're they actually very well described because they're just the ones from the Shopify example images. So essentially what you'd want to do is you've got the URL handle here and then underneath it, alt text. So what you can do is pretty much just reuse actually for this one what's there because that is that is basically what they are. And like I say, if it's for your product and you want to go into a bit more description, so let's say you sell t-shirts and it's a green t-shirt or it could be a green organic cotton t-shirt or even like a sustainable t-shirt made of X material, you know, there, there are ways you can sort of be a little bit creative with it, but also you're still explaining exactly to that person what the image is of, but you can just go into a little bit more detail and that might be hitting some of those keywords that are actually really relevant to your product or your brand or whatever it may be. And you'll be able to see if we just save this one and then we just come back to the front end of the site again. I'll just reload the page. And we've just done this for this wooden, wooden one. If we do it on here quickly, you'll see it's probably a little bit hard to see, but basically these are the image tags for Shopify. And if we scroll down, there should be an attribute in here called alt and there's not for that one because we haven't added anything but if we go to this one we should be able to scroll to the bottom and we should have a new attribute in there okay it's not at the bottom let's keep looking uh source set data sets id ah here it is so we've got alt here and you can see wooden toothbrushes lined up against a green background so that like i say it doesn't show on the front end of the site but it gets indexed into search engines like google and bing so they do take that information and it gets sort of brought into consideration when it's indexed for image search and when it's indexed within your website so it, it's really worthwhile to do and there you also the only trouble sometimes with going through this list is you've got no idea what page they're on. You've got no idea sometimes if they're even in use anymore because they don't get deleted when you you know replace them for another image. So another way you could do it is to jump into the online store. And then if you were to come into customize, we can also, this is our home page. Obviously you can jump through to whatever you know page you're updating, but we're on our home page and we could take the brush image again click on there 
And then you can see up here, we've got this edit option. So we can click on edit and you can see right here, it's basically brought up the same window. So if we want to edit our alt tags and you know, in, in more of a visual way, I guess, you can actually come through and you can do it that way. Okay, so we've looked at how to do images directly on standard pages. We've looked at how to do it in the image library. And now let's just jump back and we'll have a look how we can do it on our products. So if we come back to the main menu in Shopify, go up to products, and then we're just gonna grab this test product, which again, I've just sort of thrown a stock image in. This will work the same if you've got a whole media library for one product, you know, a whole sliders worth of things you can basically just click on that one product and then it will open it up in this this sort of like full screen window and then all you need to click on is add alt text here and then it just brings up this little box and you can just type it in there hit the save button underneath uh, if i just put in graphs and then hit that and then that just saves that in there and that is ready to go and like i say you can jump back out of this and you can go back to content and files just to kind of double check this. And like I say, everything really generally ends up in here. It says that image is referenced to one product. We can click into it and you can see here it's got the alt, alt text of graphs. So hopefully that sort of answered the question of how you can do it. You know, if you've got any more questions, please just leave them in the comments. If you found this video helpful, then um, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, then please subscribe.